Hello everyone, this is Jasmina, and in this video I'm going to talk about analyzing multi-story residences. So multi-story houses, or even multi-story apartments or condos, they're more complex to analyze than a single story. And that is because you have to analyze the chief flow from one floor to the one above it. So each floor is going to have its own center if the floor areas do not match. Uh, and that could be maybe you have an offset because you have a your, your house is built on a hillside, so maybe the top floor is offset from the bottom floor so that you can have a nice patio or, you know, that would be the, effectively the roof of the floor below, something like that those will have different centers because they're not aligned. But also if one floor is much smaller than the other, then also you'll have a different center. Oftentimes chi does not flow from one floor to the floor above it. it um, I haven't actually analyzed a house that does that yet, a real house that is. Uh, it it ha doesn't happen in my own house. Now, the way you do this is really no different than looking at chi flow in general. And I have a whole video entitled chi flow that will tell you how to do this. You just have to know what to look for. So what it's basically in three steps. You look for the chi flow from the main door to the base of the stairs. And you're looking at the facing star of the sector where those two things are located. And then you look at from the base of the stairs to the top of the stairs. Again, you're looking at the facing star in both of those locations. This is the point where almost always your, well, everyone I've looked at, this is the point at which the chi flow breaks down. That is, it the chi doesn't flow upstairs it actually flows downstairs and you would know that chi flow is getting upstairs if the if the facing star at the top of the stairs is either grown a friend or controlled by the facing star at the bottom it will get energy but it won't if it goes the other way around that is at the the facing star at the top grows or is a friend of or controls the facing star at the bottom. And that I've seen a lot. Now, if the chi does reach the top of the staircase, then it becomes effectively the main door for the upper floor. That is, you treat it like you would the main door of a single story um, place. And if you want to know whether chi flows from the top of the stairs to the rooms, you just follow the rules in, in my video. And, uh, it, it, and it actually is not terribly hard. The, if the chi flow does break down before it reaches the upper floor, then you must determine where the chi enters the upper floor. And this can be a little bit tricky. Now, if you do happen to have a balcony or a largest operable window in an area that is open to the rest of the rooms, that is, it'll be like open to the staircase and open to a hall that goes to the other rooms, something like this, then that can become a chi source. If there is no balcony or largest window, then chi enters the room from that individual's room's largest window. And the larger the window is, the better the chi flow. Now, if there does happen to be a clear chi entry point, then you can treat the upper floor a little bit differently than if it doesn't. If you do have a balcony or a large operable window, then you can say, okay, that will be my chi source. So and we'll look at the entire floor. So that means that your flying stars could be, but they will be the same as the house flying stars, but the purple white and the Chiman chart might change from the bottom floor. 
but you do have to have the right setup, and I will show you what I mean in a little bit. But for the purple white chart, you would still use the address number, not like the number two for the floor. You would use your address number because if somebody were to rent a room upstairs and they want to get mail, they use your address number. So that's how it's determined. Now, this is, I actually looked online for some two-story floor plans and I modified one. And this is what I've got for a modification. We have a kitchen here, a dining room here, and a great room here. And this is the main door. It does seem a little weird that the steps are right up against the, where the door would open, but that's what the plan shows. And uh, so this is still okay, though. Uh, if, if, even if chi flows down from upstairs, you're going to collect chi here at the landing, and then chi will flow, and it will flow over here and collect here. It won't go out. If you had the stairs pointing towards the door, then yes, every time you open up the door, the chi would just flow right out. So I'm okay with these stairs. So the first step, and I've got a video about how to do this, but the first step is you get, you do a cross diagonal uh, um, from one corner to the other. If you had a, a like a notch in there, you just have to extend the line. So you square off the house, do the crisscross. Now where those cross, that's the center. And that's where you place the compass. Now I just randomly chose a direction for north and I randomly chose this too. Well, I randomly chose a period. The chart where I chose the north, that determined what, what this house facing is. And it faces just, just barely faces southwest three. You can see that this line here is a little bit to the left. It's not straight down. So that is why this is southwest three. And it's actually about one and a quarter degrees off of being right on the line. So very, very close. And so I, I just put all the flying stars here. They are a little hard to read. So I'll tell you the important stuff. Uh, this main door is located where you have a facing star seven. Now this door could be moved anywhere between this line here and this, well, can't move to this line here because their stairs are here, but you could move the door over uh, all the way to like to here and you'd still be good. You'd still have this as a star seven, as your facing star. So this gives some option here. So this is the upstairs. So the this is all open to below, so the kitchen, the dining room and the great room have a vaulted two-story opening above them. And uh, so this just encloses basically two rooms and a bathroom. And so you have to, you know, do a dotted line to the outside, do your crisscross so you've squared it off, and then that becomes your new center. Now the top of the stairs is in this north west sector, which has a star, star six. At the bottom it was seven, at the top it's six. They're both metal stars, so the energy actually makes it up to the top of the stairs here. And I have to say I got lucky. I thought I was going to have to, you know, do a whole bunch of tests to figure out one that actually made it to the top of the stairs. This was my first attempt, and it actually worked. Sometimes I do get lucky. Now, not all period eight, Southwest two or Southwest three facing houses will have this connection happen. It will all depend on the location of the, the base and the top of the stairs and what stars are in those sectors. When we're looking at chi flow on the bottom floor, your chi source ultimately is the main door and that's where you have a seven. So you use that in my directions uh, in the video about chi flow to be your first, the first starting point. And the upper floor, you'll use six. Now they're actually, it won't make any difference in, in, in one respect is these both are metal stars, but they didn't need to be, they could have been different. 
but so this is what you need to use when you're looking at chi flow and you use this separately you you analyze each floor separately now the staircase does actually cover part of the center section of the house and that's not really ideal but most of it is not in the center so it's only a bit of a problem but if you're lucky and this house has mountains in the southwest and the northeast then this house has an activated parent string formation and then this house becomes really really good and uh, and I would be very happy to be living in this house except for that it doesn't really face a good direction for me now let's say you decide to expand the top floor because you want more room in the house well when you do that you must reanalyze the upper floors chart so let's take this as an example let's just say you want to give yourself a nice big room here that you can use for a family room or a playroom for the kids or just a bonus room assuming that there's no door here uh, it, that does make a little bit of a difference but uh, that will tell us later about chi flow but because we've expanded more than a third of the distance this way and more than a third of the, 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 the distance this way either one would count that would make this as one corner and then that means the other corner has to be here so this is exactly what you had below that is the center of the house the center of the first floor and the center of the second floor now line up and then you place the chart over it and what happens here is that the west and the northwest sector are largely missing because this is again still open to below so uh, in the previous one where we did this since the center is over here there were no missing sectors there were some sectors that weren't terribly occupied but there was no real missing sectors so that changes everything though because now what have we got at the top of the stairs we have a five so what happens well chi will flow from five to seven because earth produces metal so chi flows from the upper floor to the lower floor you've just destroyed the chi flow by doing this so now you have to figure out what your chi source is for the upper floor because you can't use the staircase anymore because it doesn't give you any chi so what your source will be on the upper floor depends on several factors if you happen to have a balcony or a large operable window in a room that is open to the center area that is it has no door then this will be the chi source but if you don't then you look at each individual bedroom separately and really it's only usually bedrooms on the second floor uh, that are important uh, if that large room that you added was a uh, family room or a playroom for your kids that's not an important room so but you'll be looking at the largest window in each individual room and that is the chi source for that room and you do the chi flow just like you you do anything else so that largest window in effect becomes your main door it's the chi source and you do like i say in my in my video about chi flow you put on the small tai chi and you look at the chi flow from the window to the bed the window you use a facing star the bed you use a sitting and you see if there's flow from the window to the bed and uh, you also look at the chi flow from the window to a desk if there's one in there and this time it's the facing stars is there chi flow from the window to the desk now only kitchens bedrooms and home offices are important on any floor of course you will have a main door and that's important too but that will only be on one floor so let's say we happen to have a nice big window here or maybe it's a balcony but we have a way 
that this is where a good amount of chi can enter. Importantly, there cannot be a door here. If there's a door here, then you look at each individual room separately. So if this it does have a nice big door, then we look where is this door or the window located? Well, it is in one. That is the facing star. So your star one is the chi source. So that will give energy to three and four with growth. It will give energy to one through the friendship, and it will give energy to nine through the control. So uh, you would be then looking at where, what is the facing star at my door? Does this energy come from here into here? That's the whole chi flow uh, that is described in much more great detail in my chi flow video. So now that you've identified the chi flow source, you just use my directions in this video, and this will tell you whether or not your house, whether or not the important parts of your house are receiving chi. And they really should if you want it to be a good house. So that's basically it. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact me here if you have any questions or visit my ad free website. There's a calculator here that can help you determine the true facing direction of your house, and it's under my calculator tab. So use it, it's free if you need it. Thank you again for watching.